What is this? That's all I could think when I first watched this on a YouTube ad. I haven't seen many people talking about it, aside from enamored reactions or reactions that are no reaction at all. They are not prepared for. Oh. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. Here's my money I'm in already. You are called to join the King's Guard. You must fight back for our people. Yeah. You are asking me to take them to war. War. Some things are worth fighting for. Or we die. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how is this content? I don't know if it's because it's too recent or because there's just not enough interest in the movie, but I really wanted to talk about it. So I am. I would love to be able to pinpoint the exact moment we entered this black hole where art, authentic expression, freedom, and just common sense seem to vanish more and more every day. Every time I think they can't surprise me anymore, I turn around and lo and behold, they do. So let's get into the things that struck a nerve with me about this trailer. First of all, if you want to make a movie representing the African people and their communities in the past, why? Why are they speaking English? An evil is coming that threatens our kingdom instead of some interpretation of their original native languages. I don't know about you, but to me, having a movie set in Africa about an African kingdom, but then make them speak English with a black accent seems way more racist than many of the things people get accused of being racist for. I get that very likely some of them spoke English due to relations with English-speaking countries, but among themselves? Come on. Point number two, women strong, white man bad. That's it. If there is one message in this trailer is that women are just as strong and powerful as men, if not more, and Europeans are evil because colonialism, I guess. There is absolutely no nuance in this trailer. It's black and white, good and evil. Black people are the oppressed, the good, the survivors. Whites are the oppressor the bad, the opposing. When you put out content like this into the public sphere, the objective can only be one, division, and the one-sided mentality. It saddens me because it's not what the world needs. Point number three, and probably the longest one, the real history behind the Dahomey Kingdom. And I'm sorry about the pronunciation. The bar for saying your movie is based on true events is incredibly low. The people this was based on were no more saints than the Europeans who conquered them. They were notorious for being a major supplier of slaves to the other countries trying to conquer Africa. They would capture neighboring tribes, men, women, and even children, and then would exchange them for goods like guns, fabric, alcohol, tobacco, and other things. They were ruthless in asserting their regional power. They would keep slaves for themselves and even execute them en masse. Like, what? That's who you're gonna portray in your movie as heroes that fought for freedom? Freedom had no place back then. People were ruthless. They were nowhere near as compassionate and tolerant as we know to be today. They didn't view different peoples as human. None of them did. It went both ways. It was tragic, but it's our past. We learn from it. And not portraying it faithfully will only lead to frustration, confusion, and eventually disaster. In a world where people won't bother checking the actual history, because you and I both know that the majority of people that are gonna watch this movie are gonna take it as fact. We're getting, we're getting films coming through now that are telling the true history of an untold history of Africa. Mm. I think is really important. 
I am so tired of looking at all of the bad that has happened to the culture and the people. Not that, I mean, we know these stories. We know what happened. We don't know these stories. We don't know the badass stories. We don't know the strong, powerful. Whew. Maybe because it resonates with the true events that we know played out. Not, you know, not, not to, not, you can't miss the fact that this is obviously reflecting the colonization, the enslavement of, you know, the African nation. You know it's fiction. Yeah. And the point of this is, is that you know it's not fiction. No, absolutely. In that respect, it is, you're right, it's really important. Yeah. You know, there's just more to unravel, which is great. History is so fun like that. You know? Not change history, because you can't change history, but no, you can change true. the representation of history. Good point. Give me more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it all up. Because it says, based on powerful, true events. Not just true events, but powerful true events. They go one step further in their manipulation tactics, pairing the word powerful with truth in such an emotionally charged trailer. Because if the events were so powerful, how can the majority of the storyline not be true? Now, I can't say whether or not the actual movie will be more nuanced and realistic in its portrayal. I know trailers aren't always the most accurate representation of the film, so I can only hope that it is. I'm no historian myself, and I'm not claiming to know all the nuances about this kingdom, this time period, and all the situations and struggles they went through. But this, this isn't it. I can only hope the movie itself is better, but that hope is slim, given that Hollywood has proven to be a despicable place, with political interests beyond our belief. I've seen many people in the comments saying, I didn't see you complain about historical inaccuracy in white-centric movies before, so what's the big deal? And with that, I have to agree. Based on true events, should remain as close to the real events as possible, regardless of what story you're telling. That's unfortunately not the reality. But I will argue that given the current climate in our society, movies like this have a much greater chance of agitating things than many of the previous inaccurate movies centered around white characters and kingdoms, where you didn't feel like you were being bombarded with some kind of political message. Feel free to disagree with me. Very quickly, the last point I wanted to touch on was the title. The way they decided to word this title is another clear indication that the goal is to cause as much controversy and generate as much attention to their movie as possible, which is not inherently bad, and I'm not gonna dwell on it. It's purely a sideline observation. These are my thoughts on the Woman King trailer that I just really felt compelled to talk about. I know these opinions are likely to get hate or not get anywhere at all because I'm really a nobody that just felt compelled to talk about this and this isn't something favored by the algorithm gods. I wish you a good one and feel free to talk to me in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective.